Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. So today we're gonna start up the Undead Settlement. So, head to the foot of the high wall. So, since last we left off, I did some farming, sold all my embers so I could level up some more, because we're gonna get a ton more and I probably won't die that much. So, uh, in this first episode, we're gonna get uh, more Titanite Shards, another um, Estus Shard. Um, some uh, kukris, or uh, large throwing knives, I'll call them, that cause bleeding. Uh, that actually, I discovered how to get them, like, on like my 10th or 20th time playing through the game on the Xbox One. So uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get alluring souls, which will distract certain enemies. Um, so. Gonna also get an NPC over here, so we will recruit back to the shrine. We can level up five times for free, <laughs> but at a cost, oh, as I'll explain. Oh, Accept the service, go back to the shrine. We'll show that at the end of the video. So, uh, while I'm walking over here, I'll just explain it. So, uh, every time you die, um, you can, I think it's like die five times. Then you can go back to him and you can level up once. You can do that five times. So you have to die 25 times. Bitch, let me parry you. Fine then, you can just die. Oh, it's so satisfying to parry. Alright, so. Now, I think I'll head back right now and explain it. So, uh, put away these alluring skulls. Yeah, track certain types of enemies. about that just checking my Twitter Uh, let's see what my friend. Nice. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. Okay. So draw out two strands. Alright, so, uh, we need to get 24 strength. So, every time you die five times, you come back to him. But, um, you will get, uh, uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, yeah. Um, so, you will eventually get, um, a, uh, thing up below your level that's, like, hollowing. And you will eventually look like you're going hollow. Uh, and 
uh, it's just a cosmetic thing, and, and doing this will help you get, um, one of the endings for the game. Alright, let's head back. So small leather shield, that'll be good for parrying. Now we're gonna encounter these guys, these are called Thralls. And uh, they can be pretty quick, also gonna get uh, charcoal pine bundles and resin here. Repair powder. Not really useful as weapons in this game have a ton of durability. So we're going to get that item. That's going to be um, Loretta's Bone. Which we'll need to continue our Thieves quest. So first, grab Loretta's bone, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head this way, and then uh, on the um, rest of this walkthrough, we'll go back the other way. So you can go up this way to get to a secret area. Come on, let me hit you. That's why you get your ass down here. You're dead. Okay, so we're gonna drop down here. Wait, did he just jump off to his death? Oh my gosh, he did. Alright, so run quickly into here. This is gonna be one of our bonfires in the level called the Cliff Underside. We're not gonna explore it th this time. Instead, we're gonna head back to here. Will y'all just fuck off, please? Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Got Thwall Axe. So you can parry these guys, but I recommend not as it can be pretty tricky. So first things first. Gotta be explosive barrels around here. So chuck your firebombs, explode as many of these guys as you can. Now we're gonna encounter these and uh, angel and uh, evangelists. They can be pretty tanky, and they have a grab attack that can do quite a bit of damage. So first thing we're gonna do, run over here, grab a solo gives 800. You, there will be a body up in the tree. That one right there, the glowing item in it, that will give us uh, some pretty good. Uh, type of throwing knives. So if you want, start chucking some fire bombs at them from range. And they will shoot a uh, spell that will bleed you. Let me show that quickly. Yep, it will cause bleed. So, I recommend going for a backstab on them. You can also get that uh, mace from them, that's pretty good. Get our S to shard. Get another ember. Alright, and try and hit this body in the tree. Damn it. Okay. You know what? That's why we have a crossbow. There we go. Got some cookies. We're getting some more tight night shards down here. Bitch, calm it down, man. Jeez, you can just calm it down now. Okay. Gonna, yep, gonna be getting some more tight night shards. Hand here. Alright, right here, there's gonna be. Do we find more rings? No, we don't. Okay. Gonna be. Go charcoal pine resin. Another soul. There'll be. So drop down into here. Warrior of Sunlight. Get an achievement for that. Some Estus Soup. Another one of these. Head them with a Kukui first and then they can also drop five Fading Souls. And then we'll encounter these guys. Now if you want, you can kill them over and over for a super rare weapon. I've only gotten it to drop once in my entire time playing this game. There we go, we'll get 500 souls and all together for all those Fading souls down here. Grab a titanite shard. Nope, solving unknown traveler. It's the next one. 
on the side that's gonna have a titanite shard. Or it's gonna get a whip. Alright. And hide on the side here is just gonna be another uh, an evangelist. Alright, so in that area right down there, there's gonna be some enemies that come charging out. So, run in here, grab the whip. Alright, so wait for that to hit. Then run. Down here. Grab another Titanite Shard. How many of those do we have? Let's see. Three. Yeah, we can level up our weapon again, which I think we'll do just because we'll get way more. Yeah, you can farm them from those guys. Are you gonna attack? <laughs> Another tight night shard. Alright, so instead of going straight down that way, we're gonna go this way, get some... Alright, gonna encounter our first NPC invader. Sharp gem, that'll be good if you're doing a dexterity build. Rusted coin. And then we're gonna encounter this guy. So, this guy can be pretty difficult as he can uh, parry you. He can do a shit ton of damage. He can also cast uh, the Warmth Pyromancy, which will produce a healing area of effect thing. We're not gonna take him out in this episode, though. We can do one more thing before this is over. I think I'll show you a little bit more. I think we'll get our pyromancy trainer. Don't need that, don't need that, so we're not doing a dex build. Alright, so you can go ahead and upgrade your weapon as much as you want, because we're not gonna... We're gonna get a ton more. Plus later on we can get an ash that will allow us to give her letters bone. 
And if you want, you can just quit out, and uh, he'll be doing a gesture, and you get a gesture from him. Then quit out again, then you can talk to him again. Then he'll go pillage the undead settlement and get some new weapons. And ever the similar. Let's go check out this guy, see if he... I... Yep, you can also get some better sorceries from him. Like Soul Great Sword. As Let's I talk. Said, alas, the... But I can tea, perhaps. I believe that I can help Tiwi pilgrims of the those branded by the... Oh, you can talk to him, get back in, As talk I to him said, again. But I... the... Be safe. Yeah, so, every time we draw out our strength, eventually we'll get, um, a point of hollowing. Let's go up here, see if that guy is back. Nope. Oh, looks like my friend sent something back. Let's see. Yeah, my friend's in, uh, taking vacation right now. One of my best friends, and, uh, I haven't seen her for a while. So me and her have been talking on Snapchat. Alright, so let's head here and get a pyromancy trainer. And then I'll, uh, show you a secret that we can get, and then I think that'll be the end of this part. I really want to listen to some music right now on my phone, but I want to avoid copyright. Or I could just say, fuck you, copyright. Okay, let's get the hand axe here. That'll be a starting weapon for the pyromancer. Yep, Aslan. Alright, then drop down here. We're gonna encounter these guys. Mr. Soup. Can take them out pretty easily with these explosive barrels. Alright. And down here we're gonna get the fire clutch ring, which will increase uh, fire damage. Which will also, uh, if you're using fire, but compromise damage absorption. Which I don't really mind since we're not gonna deal, not gonna take that much damage anyway. Um, we can just take our shield off for now. Won't really need it. I think in its place we'll equip our light crossbow. Just so we can use that if we want for some long range action. Just so we can take some guys out from long range if we need to. Oh, uh, then head this way. Now I actually recommend using your crossbow. Here, as is gonna be uh, guys shooting at you from that from the roof. So, I recommend taking your crossbow. Oh. 
taking them out from range. Just like that, then there's going to be another one on the side here that will jump. But you can take them out before that happens. That Fading Soul's a trap item. Then run down here. Get the Plank Shield. Head up here. Get some more fire bombs. Head up here. Some more homeward bones. So we're gonna encounter a friendly one of these guys. And if you interact with him in the back, he will take you to a secret area. But first. We need to... Yeah, I'll just go grab that later. It's a fire stone plate ring. So examine. Get into his cage. He will take you to a secret area where you can get a secret covenant. This is actually a second part of a boss arena. This area is called the Pit of Hollows. We're going to get a War God wooden shield. Which I don't think has any special well, stuff. Oh. Yeah, it. You. You. Mound Maker's you Covenant. This pit. You. No, let's talk to him one more time, just to make sure we have exhausted all the dialogue, and then we can give the uh, vertebra shackles. We can get one by killing him in his phantom form. Uh. Bonfire last rest of that. Alright, so I'm gonna head back to the shrine, tell you the pyromancy trainer, and then that'll be it for this episode. You can reinforce and you can learn some basic pyromancies. So we're gonna do this one because we'll need it later for a um We're gonna buy the whole pyromancy set from him. Just so I have it. All right, and heading back here, he will be doing his gesture. Heavens. And if you come back, uh, or you can just quit out and then reload, and then he'll be there, and then you can talk to him again. Insufficient attunement slots, so I'll have to level up my attunement a little bit more to be able to use that. So yeah, I'll do some farming off camera and some more stuff and then I'll see you next time.